Women's rights. We often think of suffrage as in the early 1900s, but women's rights in the United States began as far back as 1776, when the Constitution was written, saying that all men are created equal. Abigail Adams wrote to her husband and said, Please, John, remember the women. And over the years in the course of history, we've seen a lot of famous women. We've seen nurses. We've seen Sojourner Truth. We've heard stories of Harriet Tubman and her uh, bravery in the Underground Railroad and helping slaves escape. Oftentimes we think of uh, prejudice and things like that as a racial issue when really women have been um, prejudiced against over the years for many different things. And they were not allowed the right to vote until the early 1900s. And then as they were given the right to vote and own property, uh, they became more and more a driving force in our nation. When the Great War came along, women needed to go to work to help with the war uh, efforts. World War II made a big difference. Even today, we're still struggling to get women the wages that the men make for the same kind of jobs. And even in our local elections, this has been, a, or even our national elections, this year has been a big uh, step forward for women's rights and the fact that women are taken seriously now in politics as well.